Hey, what's going on guys? So as you can see, I got the battle box, or I guess it's that way. So this one is uh, fairly heavy for the size box. Also, it's very tall, but not too long. So uh, yeah, interesting. I mean, it's always a surprise anyway, but when the box is shaped weird or super small or super big or super long, I'm always curious as to why. We're gonna find out in a second here. So today's EDC, I guys haven't seen this yet, but uh, this is a little kit knife, which is super fun to put together. So I'll show you that video soon. And can't forget the bottom. All right, so that is the tape. Pop this guy open. Ugh. Hang on, it's an awkward size, so I'm just gonna cut the top right off. There we go. I couldn't fold it back because I have the Tanau Tanau relators <laughs> instead shut. Okay, so pull my sleeves up. Let's grab our paperwork. The wind's picking up here. It is a crappy, dreary day out. There's no real sun to speak of. All clouds. That's right. You can still see what's going on. Mission brief number 110. So let me do a quick, the quick pass. I don't want to spoil anything. All right, there's our mission brief. Let's get into it. So, paperwork on the top. Rule the elements. Rockagator. Okay, 35% off. Use code BOUNCE35. That's that, if you're interested. Where do we start? Well, let's start there. What is this? Bag Gator. Rockagator Ultralight. Oh, alright. So, super, super lightweight uh, water bag, I'm assuming. I don't know. Gonna find that in a second. Water bladder. I think so. Which is actually really nice because I do have plenty of bags that take water bladders and I don't actually have the bladder. And sometimes I will swap from one to another. And that is not a water bladder. <laughs> this is just just the dry bag. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was looking at the picture. It's funny, I'm looking at the, the picture of this guy, and I don't know why I thought that it was a water bladder, but it's not. It's actually the anti-water bladder. Water on the outside, not on the inside. So this is a dry bag. You put all your stuff in here, but it is super, super thin. You do have some other dry bags that are, I guess, you know, thicker gauge, a little bit heavier. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but the idea is you put all your gear in there, you roll it up a couple times, right? Clip it on itself. Oops. Get that clip out. Roll it up a couple times, and you clip it, and you can be in all the elements, and all your stuff will stay dry. So it could be pouring rain, falling a you know, stream, whatever, and you're good to go. So there you go, that's a start. Let me get something from Razorback. We've actually had a few things from Razorback in the back, or in the past. I can't speak today. So let's open this. Let's see what this is. All right. A light pressure there. I don't want to damage the box, although I probably did anyway. Trying to keep all the garbage in the truck since it's windy today. Oh, we got a fixed blade. Okay. Interesting. What I remember from this company most is their variety of, uh, like, uh, you know, interchangeable bladed type knives. This is an interesting sheath. I've never seen this before. It's a nice thin sheath, but there's, like, I don't know, some kind of skeletonization. I don't know if that's just for looks or if that's to make it stronger or what, but anyway, a little built-in clip here. I'll tell you what I don't like is that that is built-in, so that is your only option. It's not removable. So, you know, that's not the end of the world, but certainly not exciting. I do like the feel of this. So, in D2, nice, uh, really nice textured handles. It's hard to, to really, I mean, anything, obviously, texture, you could look at it, but you have no idea what it feels like until you actually have it in your hand. You might be able to tell from the pattern, but you have a lot of raised ribs here, which does feel really nice, and it's not super thick either, but it's not, like, crazy thin, so it actually feels nice in the hand. Finger troll is nice and big, right? Secondary, just a simple, simple design. Simple drop uh, point, so nothing crazy here. I think it would fit a lot of people, you know, very comfortably. I actually really like the knife. I don't know what's going on with the sheath, though. Just kind of random. It's okay. I mean, it's a medium sized knife. So, I mean, you're not going to be doing all your bushcraft with this, but you're also not going to probably, 
you know, whip this out like you would a folder. So it's something in between. I mean, obviously, if you EDC a fixed blade, this would be fantastic. It's a good, decent size. You can keep this, you know, you can probably put this on the inside of your pants as well. Whoa, hang on. The wind picked up. All right, so the wind picked up. I have a nice big burst of wind there. It's on the inside of the truck. There we go. Okay. All right. Anyway, I was just saying, if you EDC a fixed blade, this might be a decent option for you. You can go inside the waistband with this uh, left side because I'm righty. But obviously, it's orientated for outside the waistband. You can just put it on your belt, literally a belt clip on your right side. That's how it would present. A little bit too big to be a neck knife anyway <laughs> because i push the limit sometimes if that clip wasn't like that i might even carry this on the neck because it's not you know crazy heavy but it is actually too big but anyway there you go so decent fixed blade got a little decal in there too all right so well, let's put this on the other side all right so what else do we have going on here what's this lucy solar portable light 40 lumens, rechargeable via solar or USB with an adjustable arm. So that's exactly what, oh, this paper is sneaking out. Airflow is going inside the bed this way and out this side, <laughs> shooting the paper out. Okay, there we go. Now I got a barrier with the cardboard. Jeez, okay. So you guys see the examples here. Pretty straightforward, I mean, 40 lumens, eh, you know, it's not, not super exciting or impressive, but this is stuff like this is fantastic for camping. I don't know if you guys saw, I did a lighting specific video last time we went camping and Christina loves different options. This is a good thing because there might be a specific place where you need some lighting and maybe your little lantern's not doing the best for that specific purpose or, you know, you have like a, a cook prep area, something like that. You know, it just depends on the exact situation. But the fact that we have this kind of, you know, rubberized arm is nice. You know, because you can you know put that on a tree branch or a tent peg or whatever, or a tent pole, excuse me. So it does give you some more options and stuff, at least for camping. For everyday use, yeah, I mean, I guess you can get creative with it. It's not super exciting, but we'll definitely play with it. It's kind of cool. All right, put that off the side. All right, what's this from SOG? We have the SOG entrenching tool. I can't tell you how many folding shovels I have. Actually, I can. I probably have four, maybe five. That's not counting the ones that are actually in my truck and the one that's in my wife's car. So, although I don't know why I accumulate so many of these, but they're good. They're good to use. Uh, I mean, more so winter than summer, but who knows? Maybe it gets stuck in the mud. I don't think I've used this specific one before. Um, yeah, I don't know. So let's see, there's some specs on it, if you guys want to see that. And it looks like the gnats found me. That's wonderful. <laughs> We're just in the beginning of spring, getting some decent weather lately. And I do not miss the bugs. That's the one thing I can say about the winter. It's cold, it's nasty, but I do not miss bugs. So there's our little pouch for that. You know what, I may have this one already. Not entirely sure. Take. I usually like twisting these off, but we're going to go ahead and cut them off just because you guys like seeing the cutting action. All right? Why not? I know most people just cut them, but I usually save my blade edge. It's not necessary if you have a plier on you. All right. So this guy, obviously, you see, it folds all the way up. Whoop. So it's like this in the pouch. And then you're going to unfold it. Unfold it this way. We have the head, so we have the you know, mining spike on one side for, for digging and whatever, or you can have just the shovel. And you're just going to tighten this thing down. I, if I don't have this exact same one, I have one very similar to it. Let's see, is that... No, it's not all the way down. Something's wrong here. Oh. I'm going the wrong direction, that's why. So this whole, this nut just stiffens everything up. Alright, I was just turning in the wrong direction. But yeah, so you have a stiff shovel. You can loosen this guy up here. Put this in whatever position you want. You can have just the spike up, right? You can have both up if you want, I think. I've actually never used both before. I've only used really the shovel. But yeah, use both. So if you want to hack away and then use this to hack at something, you can certainly do so. There's supposed to be serrations on the side, but they're dull. 
you know, cold steel actually does have like sharpened uh, trenching tools and stuff, which you can use as a throwing knife, which is kind of fascinating. But anyway, so loosen this thing all the way up. Oh man, these gnats are killing me. What is the purpose of a gnat's life? They're born, I feel like they all huddle together like a sports team. There's a coach, they tell them, listen, you gotta find an animal, you have to fly up their nose, in their ear, in their eyeball, just totally like kamikaze, whatever you can find, that's your purpose. Anyway, <laughs> that's all. All right, so pop this guy in here, and we'll save this for who knows what, <laughs> because it's, it's literally gonna go with other ones, other trenching tools I have. These, like I said, in the wintertime specifically, I mean, if you happen to do off-roading, you'd probably want like a dedicated tool for that, uh, a decent sized shovel, you know, something mounted to your Jeep or truck or whatever you're doing. But for the average person, you never know. It might get you out of a pinch. Good thing to have. All right. So, more paperwork. Oh, I know why this box is big. It's this right here. There's a con case in there, which I do like, by the way. I, I use those for knife collection stuff. Anyway, so, Energizer Expeditions, exclusive offer for 25% off your first order at BattleBox. And it looks like there's no code. Right? I don't know. I guess that's it. I guess just check it out. It's probably on the website. All right, so before we get to that con case, what do we have here? Fix-It Sticks, hunting, shooting, multi-tool, 19 pieces. Interesting. Okay. So we got a little bit kit in there, molded holder. That sounds like a rock band. Coming to stage, molded holder. No, maybe not. I don't know. So there you go. You got bits. You have a T-handle. Interesting. I mean, it's cool. It's whatever. I mean, tools are good. It's always good to have tools. Seems, this. I don't know why this seems familiar. We got one of these? You guys let me know. Some of you watch all these videos. It does seem very familiar. Yeah, I totally have this somewhere. I definitely got this before. I know because I remember testing it. Hang on, I need her knife to get to the bag. All right. It's funny, I remember specifically testing this. I remember doing the video and, and testing it afterwards. I don't know what happened to it. Man, I gotta look through my stuff now because I definitely have this somewhere. So yeah, we have the, the bit here. We put these together. Right, so you have the T-handle if you want more torque, which is very nice. It is an interesting, it's a cool kit. It could definitely be handy. Like I said, stuff like this is never as good as a dedicated tool. However, you know, if you don't walk around with a whole tool bag, I mean, this is something nice to keep in the glove box in your vehicle. Let's say you have something small, small project or something, you know, it's there. You just know it's there, right? But when you're home, you should have dedicated tools for the job. But I do actually like the design. I think it's pretty neat. So, anyway, that is that. All right. So, lastly, we have the Kong case. So, this is just a storage case. Oh, let's get this out of the box. Oh, there's more paperwork in the bottom. Hang on. Slip one more, one more ad in here. Sorry, fix it sticks. We really have a ton of tools, actually. So, it says discount code is BATTLEBOX10. Go through 8124 for 10% off. All right, well, that's cool. I'll check out the site. I do like the multi-tool. I'm curious now what their other stuff is. So, maybe there's some other interesting add-ons or something. All right, so, one box gone. Another box down. Actually, let me take this out of the box. So, this is like... It's kind of like a Pelican case. Only it's not that brand. Got some bold colors. There it is. A Kong case. All right, so this is set up very similar to a lot of these hard cases. Uh, even like Harbor Freight has their rip-off versions. I forget the name of them, but they're fantastic. I mean, I do use these all the time for different types of knife uh, collections and storage. You have holes here, obviously, for locks if you want to lock this up. Um, this is, should be a pressure valve in case, you know, you've thrown out airplanes into ponds and rivers and stuff like that, which none of you are, and that's okay. 
So these do snap snap in. You have to push down on that. So they're they're locked in, which is nice. So don't accidentally open. And there you go. We have our foam insert, which is pluck foam. All right. So I don't know if you've seen this before. Let me see if I can pop this out and show you. Yes, I can. It's two layers of pluck foam. So I actually have a whole video on this uh, this stuff, but. Essentially, this is pre-cut squares, all right? So you come in with your knife and you cut what you want. So you can, you know, use this for anything. You can, because of the size on this, you can do folding knives. Average folding knives can go upright. So you can do like one, two, three, fit a bunch in here, 30, 40, 50 of them, depending on how you're cutting stuff. This could be used for one specific item. You know, um, you can use this for camera gear. I actually have a Pelican case I use for my, my camera stuff, but I don't have nearly... Like, I don't carry the same stuff. It used to hold my camcorder as well as my DSLR and, like, a point-and-shoot camera, all kinds of stuff. But I don't really need that anymore. So I might actually convert this into my new camera case so I can just, you know, carry my camcorder, um, you know, bits, attachments, a little case of, like, SD cards, battery, battery charger, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I mean, these are super, super handy. I think that's it. I just decided now, right this second, that's exactly what I'm going to use this for. This is going to be my new camera case for just this camera. Uh, so this way my DSLR and other stuff, I don't need to carry that around. I don't use it the same time I'm filming. Most times if I'm going somewhere, like let's say I want to do a video at the beach, you know, I bring my camera gear. I want to do a video of Vinny or something, you know, or you know, whatever. Anything that's literally not home, I travel with my Pelican case and I have all my camera gear in there. But it's not necessary to carry all that stuff all the time. So I will use this now. So that concludes this little video. So let's see real quick here. And we have everything. There's the lineup. All right, so we'll go over all the stuff right quick. We have Rockagator Ultralight Series Dry Bag. All right, this is for the basic box. Um, then we have our Lucy Light. Then we have the SOG Trench Tool. And if you got the advanced box, you'd also get the um, uh, Fix It Bit Kit. All right. And if you got the Pro Box, you get the Concase and then the Pro Plus. They throw in the knife so there you go so specs on the knife i know it's d2 razorback canyon fixed blade i don't know you guys can read that right there if you want to see let's see full tang d2 flat grinds okay g10 yep yep you yep designed by rusk comer okay cool that's it battle vault whatever is going on out there we've got you covered Scan here for access to Battle Vault. All right, well, there you go. You can scan that there, maybe. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. So I'm going to spend the next probably half an hour or so doing the camera gear stuff. If you're interested, because people do randomly ask, what do I film with? I mean, sometimes I'll make a, a random video with my cell phone, which is just an Apple phone. But right now I'm using a Sony Handycam. I'll tell you in a second. It is specifically the FDR-AX43. In case you're curious i mean originally it was like a 500 hundred dollar camera or camcorder i love it it's totally fine for my purposes but you know if you're looking for one there you go that's the information so that's all hopefully you guys have a great day thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care